Hey there guys, how are you doing today? My name is of course Callum and today I'm going to quickly bring you a tutorial on how to add uh, random tree placement via a spline. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the spline panel placement. Spline placement panel combined 25. At the bottom, it will create, again, it will create another scene graph transform group called spline objects. Open that up, you got your spine placement and you got your objects to place and placed objects. So I'm going to do two trees. I'm going to do the oak stage three and an oak stage four. This does work for more trees. I'm just doing two for this demonstration. So I'm going to cut, duplicate, cut and paste into the objects to place. It's it's just like the same as you do in a hedge, and actually, whilst you're doing the hedge at the same time. You can have two uh, spline object groups, and all you've got to do is then just move what the spline from one group to another, and then just fill around with your object distances and all that, and then just press pre uh, place objects, and then you'll have your trees on your hedges. Simple. Anyway, this is a separate demonstration. Uh, so if you want it, if you just want it random, like what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go from here all the way over to here, just to show you that it is doable so we're going to create a spline control x put that in the spline placement transform group so it's under the placed objects and all that right let's bring it to where we are oh yeah i'm going to also bring the trees one tree there and one tree there so i know i can remove them at a later date once i've done these So I'm going to move my spline, so grab the end, press insert, control B, and then left click as to wherever you want to place it. Insert, hold down control, press B, left click, bingo, you get the drift. Go for your whole way wherever you want to do it. There we go. Alright, let's just stick it there for now. Cool. So we've got the spline done. What we're going to do is we're going to mess around with some of these settings. So, select the spline placement group. Now we want to, the object distance, if we set it to 7, you mess around with this because obviously the bigger the gap and whatnot. Use distance table, deselected. Fixed distance deselected, stay upright, everything deselected apart from random spline order and random distance. Uh, select random distance is selected, and then random placement is selected. We've already got the spline placement highlighted, so what we're going to do is just place objects. So there we go. Uh, along a spline, as you can see, it's done stage 4, stage 4, stage 3, stage 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 3, 3, 4, 3, 3. It's basically just random generated the trees. So, yeah, as you can see, all along here to the end of the spline. If, if that's not enough, what you can do is just mess about with the object distance. It has to be above zero for this to work so there you go you've got two so every two is there let's just delete all of them oh, selected that's gone if you want it a bit bit a bit bigger just do 10 place objects so it's every 10 and whatnot so and then if that's not enough just go down to six bingo there you go you got two together a bit closer a bit closer that's it guys it's just as simple as that it will work if you've got like three or four trees as well they are random it's not just go three four three four three four three four and all that because obviously we've got the random placement selected so it's as easy as that that is how you add trees to on a random placement via a spline guys I've been Callum. 
don't forget shout out to the discord there will be a tutorial on this on here very shortly uh, we currently have 107 people welcome welcome we've been getting active you know yeah we've got a few people with pictures i've been posting and obviously now i've got my whip my map progress so yeah guys i've been callum i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and uh, we'll see you in the next one.